God is light. First John one five. God is light, and devil lives always in darkness. So he is darkness. God is always good. Mark chapter ten verse eighteen. Devil is always evil. Deliver us from the evil one, as Jesus said. Matthew chapter six verse thirteen. Deliver us from the evil one. And God is always good. Rescue us from the evil one. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God you, Jesus. is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Jesus is Lord. Now and forever. So, what is the promise word today? John chapter fourteen, verse thirteen. Ask in my name, you will get it. This is a testimony of Nevis from Goa. Nevis, where are you? Stand up. He has come here to give a testimony and attending this Thanksgiving retreat this week. Navy is from Goa giving a testimony. My mother had a wound on her right leg. It was worse through her medication. But still, we are just observing and participating. Three o'clock adoration, and one day we put our petition. That means one request sent through chat box. Now you are free to send chat box testimonies. And also intentions. Send your intention through the chat box. Then three o'clock they did this petition. As Jesus said, today's promise word: whatever you ask, you will get it. That day onwards, change happened, and within few days, the wound is healed. Navi, where are you now? Ah, lift. Prakash. But you have a testimony, a different one. Ah, same one. Lift up your hands now and give glory to Jesus. Clap your hands and praise and thank God. Praise the Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. So your name is Prakash. Your Prakash. Praise the Lord. Nothing there is in the name, <laughs> but the testimony is most important. What is the testimony? It gives confirmation of our today's promise word. Whatever you ask in my name. So send your petitions now in the name of Jesus to Logos, and uh, or you can send your petition through email and send all these petitions through your email to Heavenly Father. Your testimony, your thanksgiving, your prayers. Kneel down and send a email to God Almighty. Same thing you can email to Logos. I will give you reply through uh, Gmail. Gmail means God's mail. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lifting up our hands now. Take confidence. Take heart. There is power. What is that power in our prayer? First John five fourteen. We have trust and confidence in Jesus. What is that? Whatever we ask according to the promise word in the Bible, surely we will get it. This is our confidence in Christ Jesus. So, First John four five fourteen, we have boldness. That means we have confidence in Jesus. About what? Whatever we ask, according to His will, the will of God is revealed in the promises. That is the plan of God, will of God related to you, given by promises. So when you just cling to this promise and ask, Lord, this is promised in the Bible. Give me that promise fulfilled. What is promised? Give me. Suddenly Jesus will give it because you have a mind of search. You found that. Where is the promise? You are not so lazy to find out the promise. You found the promise, and if you are so lazy, I will find out a promise for you every day and give it to you. Then immediately you have to start praying, Lord, this is your promise that I heard today. Give it to me now. That is First John chapter five fourteen. Whatever you ask according to the promise word in the Bible, surely the Lord will give it to you. Now lift up your hands. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast out all negative spirits from your family. I bind and cast out spirit of asthma devils that killing your husband. Tobit chapter eight, verse three. A devil entered into Sarah's family. 
and uh, her life turned miserable because of that work of the devil and she didn't know that but that devil killed seven husbands one after another many of your future children are killed by the devil so you have miscarriage or you have no children and many misfortunes happen in your family because asma they was is still working and uh, archangel raphael in disguise went along with tobias and made an incense in the room that demon came out what is the incense now we have to make in our room what is the incense one is prayer other one the knowledge of jesus is an incense second corinthians 2:14 our knowledge that jesus gives the answer that knowledge is an incense devil will come out now when we say jesus 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 that's an incense against the devil all demons will come out in the name of jesus i bless your families and every evil that entered into you and made you sick and made you crippled made you mentally sick made you retarded made your children crippled let these demons be bound at the feet of jesus through the fragrance of the lord tobit chapter 8 verse 3 demons be bound at the feet of jesus amen amen